Hello, 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 everybody, this demon here, along with my good friend Jay. Hello! I'm Jay. <laughs> my wife is laughing at me. Okay, um, this is the remnants of Zert through the hunter's eyes, or through the eyes of the hunter, I don't remember anymore. Um, chapter 6. Wow, well, chapter 6, we're both level 4s. Yay, we're getting very good at it. Except my character died. Ah, uh, well, Edge died. Yeah. You're so he's not very good at it. Nope. Um, tell me what you see on your roll 20. I see... I rolled a 15. You rolled a 15? No, not... <laughs> Don't roll. I said, oh. what do you see? I see. Yeah, do you I... see, like, a, a road with a cart and, you know, yeah, your, uh, your character and Aaron and Ion? A bison. Yeah, next to a bison. Yeah. Okay. That, that's what I was asking. Right. You meant, what does my perception allow me to see? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, Ion Stoneborn and the group, that's uh, you and Arryn, um, head south to the Rune Tower where Ion hopes to find the... Um, I can't read my own handwriting. The sucks. entrance to the fabled Lost Dwarven City somewhere nearby. Um, camped out on the road in the wee... Wait. No. Okay, so you're going to camp out on the road. Um, so uh, you've thus far left the trees, and you are now in open plains. Grassy <laughs> fields to the left, and grassy <laughs> fields to the right. Okay. That's a lot of grassy fields. Yep. Um, I don't like it. So you're going to stop for the night. Ion pulls the cart over and hooks the thing. You know, you have a meal and whatnot. Um, Ion's going to take first watch. Who's taking second? Who's taking third? I'll take second. All right. Aaron will take third. So this is where you roll your perception. All right. Oh, I will use my last one. I rolled 15. Um, and Nikolai has a perception of eight. Holy so, shit. Yeah. So I see everything. Yeah, you want to go back to, uh, crunching numbers? <laughs> so what? Crunching numbers? Yeah, I guess we have to. So eight, 15 is like 23. Yeah. Um, anyway, it goes by uneventfully, um... Nothing spectacular. You wake up Aaron for his uh, his shift. All right. Hey, it's your turn. Get up. All right. I need a D20. Where's a D20? And Aaron's perception is 10. He could just take 10. Jeez. Yeah, Holy crap. <laughs> Roll a 1 uh, and you get 11. Now you're screwed. No, he rolled a 29. Oh, my God. He sees everything more than I see. Um, so in the wee, in the wee hours of the morning, um, Arn, who's perched up on top of this wagon, kind of looking around, um, shouts... What does he shout? Um, Wake up! <laughs> it's a party! I don't know. Wake up. Um, I'm up. I'm up. What what what's what's the issue, Arn? Attackers to the west. Alright, let's Actually, the east. ready Attackers ourselves the east. and make sure our bison doesn't get killed. Okay. Um Jeez, that was an amazing perception check. You see way up ahead are um three centaurs. Oh fuck. Charging. Oh Jesus Christ. Um there's a lead guy with a great big um Spear? Yeah. And then uh, two smaller ones behind him. Okay. So see, uh, 20 here horses hopes two rounds before they arrive. Yay, Aaron. <laughs> oh, we are fucked. Um, so everybody at this moment rolls initiatives. Alrighty then. I roll. 1d20, reroll. 15. Plus 3. 18. 18. Um, so, 
Nikolai. 18. Aaron gets a 17. I wonder if there's an easy way to kill these things. Ion gets a 10. It would be pretty dumb because their brain would be working too hard on moving their legs and their arms. <laughs> it's true. Black they rolled be, a 1. Their, their, brains wouldn't, their brain capacity would be lower. They have to focus on moving too many limbs. And roll a 16. And You'd the big boss their, guy their rolled a 20. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, not good. <coughs> Leader. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, let's mark HPs down really quick. Uh, he has that, he has that, and he has that. All right. They would have so, back problems, too, because their spine would go along the back of the horse and then straight up. Their, their spine would be at a 90-degree angle. They would have yeah, we can step. argue all day whether or not centaur just, physiology I'm makes any looking sense. looking at them, and I'm just like, <laughs> just, 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 I don't know. It's just not a good makeup. It hurt. You're, you're stuck in a magical world. A centaur approaches you, and some people are like, wow. What a beautiful, majestic beast. And you're like, does your back like, all like, that oh, stress, <laughs> All that strain every time it runs, on, all the strain on its spinal cord is just going to snap. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, Aaron rolled so good, you get two rounds before they get there. Holy shit. Um, leader guy goes first. Okay. So he's going to get closer. Um, then it is Nikolai's turn. Do you have any ranged weapons? Do I? I thought I had a bow, but I might not. Let me check. Come on, layer. Not layer. Two back. There we go. Um, no. You have a throwing no, dagger, no. but that's not ranged enough. Um, well, shit. What could I use for an advantage? <laughs> Um, you can position yourself where you have, like, some type of cover with the wagon. Yeah, I was thinking put uh, Aaron on the roof of it with his bow. Let me shoot first, and then um, I'll get, yeah, somewhere uh, around the wagon where I have area to fight, but I also have cover, like, around it or something okay. behind it. So they don't even notice that I'm there. Got you it. know what I'm saying? Can you move your character? Uh, I can, and I won't. But I, but let me see here. All right, they're coming from. So, uh, hi. if you have it zoomed out enough, you can see them. Oh, good call. Holy shit, that's awesome. Okay, I didn't even realize that. Great. Um, so so um, I'm gonna go back over here where they can't see me. Aaron's turn, he is going to draw an arrow. So he does not get that bonus. Um, centaurs are humanoid-ish. They're not animals. So I guess he only gets a plus nine. Home run, Aaron. Home run. No oh, crap. That's not what I want to hear, Aaron. Useless. Oh, good. <laughs> what happens? That happens to the match there. He rolled a 14. It matches their AC. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Good job. All right. So he <clears throat> launches it, he lets an arrow loose, and it flies straight and true. Um, does a D8 of damage. Oh, nice. Three. That is not much. Oh, all right. You get that, that, that pussy arm that just sends the weakest arrows ever. I could kick it out of the sky. Well, just that pussy against. arm did just put an arrow in that lead um, centaur's. What? Life. In his, in his, uh, I don't know, I can't think of anything, but it must not have hurt it that much. Okay, it's the tan guy, and then it's Ion. Ion's gonna roll for a hit. Where is Ion's character card? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's right there. They're gonna annoy you, he's scared. He is going to shoot, and he does yeah, a 10 of damage. 
Uh, well, he rolls the same number that Aaron just did. Uh, <coughs> what if they're just coming to greet us? They're like the Indians of this area, and they're like, oh, we'll offer peace. Oh, and then we yeah. start firing arrows well, at they them. were clearly charging. Well, you know, they have four legs. They, <laughs> they yeah. run fast. I didn't think of that. I'm like, maybe they were just... Doing maybe that. I would die in real life in this world because I think like that. Um, leader's turn, he's going to get close. On his next turn, he will be attacking. Okay. Um, it is Nikolai's turn. Nikolai is going to... If I ran out to him, that would use a turn, so I might as well just wait. Yeah, you probably should. Yeah. Um, Aaron is going to launch another arrow. Or, or should he use a fireball? Cure wounds, main spells. <coughs> um... Oh, no, that's only a plus six. I don't think this is a D6. He launches another arrow. Crap, what is seven plus nine? Math. Ugh. Math. Sixteen, that hits. Yay. He does D8 of damage. That's a two. Gah. Pussy arm. All right. Um, minor action. Arn drops his bow and pulls the uh, and loosens the chain around him. It is uh-huh. Tan's turn. Tan's going to get closer. It is Ion's turn. Ion's going to launch an arrow at the leader guy. He is going to crit. Fail? No, crit. Uh, crit. Critical hit. That's my man. Whoop, whoop. And he is going to do a... What is just it, a, a juggle, a whoop. I shouldn't have did that. I don't know why I did that. Um, ten. He had 19 damage on that. 19? Yeah. Fuck. He just bloodied leader. I'm just sitting here like, holy shit, I'm watching from under the carriage. Like, God like, damn. Like a bolt just shot up and, like, it disappeared under this thing's, like, breastplate, like, yeah. in the skin, and, like, didn't exactly come out the other side. But you just see it completely change its movement because you know it's fucked. It stumbles a bit. It will die if we leave it alone for a little bit. Okay, they are perfectly within range now, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Um, it is Black's turn. Black's going to come here. All right, Leader's turn. Leader is within range to throw a spear. Do I have one of them? Uh, the leader guy? Oh, he has a spear. I thought I, at first time I thought I had a spear. I was like, whoa. He is going to throw a javelin at uh, Aaron. 4, 14, 15, 16, 17. That is going to hit Aaron. Oof. Um, and that does 1d6 plus 2. You would think it would do more than that. A javelin. Well, it's just a javelin. It's not his spear. Could you imagine if it, had, it was a hook javelin? And it was uh, like 15 pounds, 20, no, like 30 or 40 pounds. Yuck. Ugh, that would be horrible. You'd be dragging it around with you because it'd be stuck in it. Uh, two, three, four. <laughs> Four, and it's only four damage to R, and it's not too bad. Sharon's <coughs> health, 31. Shit, so they, they're they not close to us. They're just close enough to throw their stupid spears. Pretty much. Um, it is now Nikolai's turn. No, wait. He still can run up, so he's up there now. All right, um, Nikolai, um, you can totally just walk up to him and whack him in the face now. Okay, I'm going to surprise and run out, and and uh, because he's so he's running so close to Aaron, I'm going to take my sword and just dab it right into the side of his head so he doesn't even see me coming. Just like, Rah! 
Okay. And I roll... 14 plus... 1. 15. Ah, uh, that's going to hit. Yeah, my spear goes in his head. It's a d8 plus 2. <gasps> oh, okay, that was a 20, my bad. <laughs> Uh, five. Alright, you wanna detail how you kill him? Yeah, I basically use the momentum of me swinging around the carriage in my sword, and I bring it down on his head because he's getting close to you, and I just basically decapitate him. And his stupid horse body just tumbles into the carriage. Oh. This would have been really hard if Baron had rolled a one. On his perception. Yeah, yeah we would have been fucked. Yeah. Um, Ion is going to go ahead and take a shot off at the Black Centaur. Ooh, he's going to roll pretty good. Uh, he does a d10 of damage, and he rolled fucking one. Dumbass. He hits the, he hits the stupid bison. <laughs> I hope not. That's his bison. Damn it. His arrow goes to the right and kills it. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, it is now Black's turn. Wait, what happened to Tan? No, it's Tan's turn. I skipped Tan. Tan's going to come about there. He's going to throw his javelin. Um, most... Ugh, is he going to go for you or is he going to go for me? Um, I'm going to flip a coin. Arn is the world. He's going to throw it at Arn. you, but I did just decapitate his leader. Throws it at Arn. Throws it at Arn. 15, 16, 17. That hits. They roll all roll twos. Why do they roll twos? Ah, now I have to math. Okay. Um... Black's turn. Black's going to come down. He's more uh, closer to Ion. He's going to throw his javelin at Ion. He's going to hit. Okay. Ion's a dwarf. He's really... Hard to hit. hit. No. He's easy to hit. He's just hard to hurt. He's got shit to health. He has thick skin. Yeah, he does. Thick dwarf skin. He's all constitution based. Um, anyway, it is Nikolai's turn because leader is dead. All right. Yeah, ouch. Sorry, right. I was yawning. Um, no, it was the chair. Oh, I thought you were saying ouch because you got hurt or something. All right. Yeah, you so, hurt my ears. I am going to then turn and run at the brown horse man. And I'm going to swing both swords at its head. Okay. D20, right? Yep. Plus one. <gasps> Ooh, dun, 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 dun. I don't know, is your weapon crit on that? I don't know, I've got an uh, Yeah, that's a crit for your sword. Now Nikolai's a badass. Uh, roll again, see if the other one hits. I almost died last time we played. Now, now he's fucking things up. Cutting heads off. All right, so, yeah, both sw- swing both blades at I come running yeah, Roll again, this. see if the other one hits. Damn right it does. Yeah, it hits, but it's not crit. Okay. Um, blah. So, roll your... Uh, your D8 plus 2. 7, 8, 9, 9. 9 plus 10. Roll it again. 5 plus 2 is 7. 24 damage. Oh, shit. Um, would you like to describe how you kill him? Decapitation. <laughs> <laughs> I just came running like a madman, swung both swords, the momentum carried, and another head popped off. All right. Fucking bloodbath out here. 
I guess you could say Nikolai is not a big fan of centaurs. No. Or their heads. Doesn't believe that their bodies should be connected to horses. All right. I think he's too far. Aaron's just going to launch a ball of fire at this centaur. Yeah. You could say Nikolai is just trying to put them out of their misery because he understands how much pain their spines are probably in. <laughs> um, 12. Oh, good, that hits her flat. Okay. That hits her touch. Yay, just barely. He almost missed. And that is a D6 plus damage. Oh, minimum damage of 2. Ah, oh, these guys... Those are useless. I like those. I think those are... That was a fireball. Yeah, but I mean, I think the whole archery thing in this is very under... Um, underpowered, because it's like, miss, miss, okay, I hit, oh, I only well, get two. Yeah, you know, you know, we never get, like... We have way more misses and shit hits than we do have really good hits. And... Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's not even misses, too. Once you get... Like, Arn's got some pretty good bonuses once they get up there. Yeah, but it's getting there. But, or... um... It, it only does a D8. Yeah. <clears throat> you can't get... I mean, there's not a lot... You can't, you can't get a headshot and a one-hit kill with it unless you get a crit. But... Not even. Oh. I mean, oh, no. the crit damage on this thing is... Yeah, sixteen. I think bows should really be a lot stronger when they're when it's distant, and a lot weaker when it's close. Just because it's harder to shoot when something's really close, um, and a lot easier. Actually, when you... you can't shoot when it's adjacent. You can't shoot when it's adjacent. Yeah, you can't shoot. Um, I think there's a feat that allows you to do that, but for the most part, you can't even shoot. You get like a negative four or something to shoot. Oh wow! But yeah, I don't know. Arrows, bone arrows, are just, I think they should be stronger, have a higher chance of hitting or something, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, whose turn is it? Um, it is the tan... Oh, wait, he's dead. Yeah, I decapitated the tan. I got two heads to put it's on. It's Ion's turn. He's going to launch a bolt at uh, this thing. Twelve. Thirteen. He's going to miss. And Black is going to alter his course... Run this way, Spear Lord, and he's going to jab you with a spear. <laughs> Did it tickle? Uh, Did it going puncture? To completely, that, that angle that he just turned and ran at you with? Um, Broke his not, spine. Not good. <laughs> he clearly had a pain in his back as he turned. He was like, oh, it's my back. Bad. He missed you with the spear. I should really put this one out of his misery, too. That's why I'm just going for headshots. I feel horrible for them. Oh, this is amazing. I'm going to put it down fast. No need to suffer. I, I, I look at him and say before I kill him, it's all over now. Yeah, it is your turn. All right. D- double swing again. Right for the head. Go for it. 16 plus 1 is 17 for my first. Okay. Let's check your other. 10. That's going to miss. Okay, so I'm a little tired from swinging. One eight plus 2. So one hits, one misses. Get a four, five, six, so six. All right, six. Just put him in more pain. All right, this guy is bloodied. Okay, so I went for the head and just caught the neck and just cut a chunk of his neck out, and now he's bleeding out of his neck. All right, jumps down, runs up. You see the spike chain, just like the spike part of it, that one, like, Basically, it's the end of the chain, but the end of the chain has a here. spine on it. Yeah, get it over just here. goes straight towards this thing. It's a scorpion. Oh, that would be cool to have a scorpion companion. And this is a plus eight. Oh, wow. Uh, is that a crit on a 19? No, it's not. Damn. Um, yeah, that hits. So cool. I need... 2d4s. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 damage. Okay, so this single, single, it's like a, it's almost like a knife type point 
on this yeah. kind of thing. And the way Aaron throws it, it just goes straight into this thing's um, like rib cage. Oof! Just you hear it go. Funk, That's and brutal. Aaron pulls, and you hear oh. it as ah. this rips out, and this thing just reels in pain and like collapses in itself. Why is it in pain? You just strained its spine. <laughs> They think about it, you just pulled its rib cage down. Oh man, that was graphic. Oh, yeah, that was brutal. I was standing right there. Get over here. <laughs> it's pretty much what just happened. As its whole rib cage rips out of its chest hmm. and it topples on itself. Yeah. And I'm Aaron, covered in blood. Or it ignites the uh, chain and flame. To burn off the blood and gore. And I quickly take my swords and decapitate it so it doesn't <laughs> suffer anymore. So now well, I'm sure I don't need to roll to hit it. Or if I was doing it Davis style, I would have I would be within perfect alignment to decapitate it and I would swing and I would like hit it somewhere to put it more in pain but it wouldn't actually die. And I would just keep swinging and swinging while it was like obviously in screaming pain. You know what you did, this. I know what I did. It was terrible. <laughs> I know what I did. <laughs> I will never bring a shotgun out hunting again. Why can't I hit it? Why can't I hit it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Alright, it's dead. I killed it. Alright, yeah. Um, so, I killed it, but... Ion comes out and is like, Well, that's why I hired you. Fucking brutal. Um... You're right. Why Why do you think they would just attack us like that? Oh, well, they don't really get along too well with the uh, the Alioth people, supposedly. Uh, no, I'm not really from this side of this uh, this country. Oh, well, you know, if this is their home area, we should probably be moving before more of them come. Not a bad they idea. They don't seem very friendly, and they, don't, they seem extremely hostile. All right, uh, you loot the bodies and find about four gold worth of stuff. The poor too. Yeah. But I'll throw that on there. We should be moving on. Yep. Uh, Ion starts putting the uh, hooking, hit, or calming down his bull and hooking it up to the uh, cart. And uh, you're going to head out. We're on our way. We're off to see the wizard. Our oh. group of brave adventurers continues on to the fortress. That's cool. Um, you approach this fortress and you find the Republic guards in distress. <coughs> oh, no. So, you, uh, you get to this fortress. And it looks very... Kind of strange, because it's, like, this big stone, like, Skyrim-style fortress. Okay. In, like, the middle of plains. In the middle of plains. Plains. Like, it's open all fields. Plains. Open yeah. plain. And That's like, nice. That means they can, see, they can see threats coming from, from far away. Yes, and they see us coming from far away. And uh, are they going to attack us? Because... No. Just well, attack. hopefully not, because, you know, we're the citizens of this country. They shouldn't be attacking. Yeah, I'm saying, like, <laughs> see us coming, but I don't think we... We're not worse people. All right. Um, so, Ion's pretty happy to be here. Can we use percep perception to see if we notice anything funky on our way up? Um, yeah, go ahead. Roll perception. <laughs> I don't see shit. Three. <laughs> Uh, Ion's not really, or Aaron's not really paying attention. Plus eight, nine, um, ten, eleven. People, so yeah, not good enough to see anything abnormal. Okay. Um, until <clears throat> you get to the gates, and uh, the guards like, "What are you guys doing here?" And uh, Ion's like, "Hey, I'm blah blah blah. I came here to uh, investigate a." Um, so, d d fabled dwarven city under plains, blah blah blah. 
And this guy seems kind of um, nervous. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm taking it in. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. It started doing that really fuzzy thingy. And I was like, yeah, oh, you're just going crazy, man. Yes. Um, and Ion's like, well, what, what's wrong? He says, uh, we're being attacked from inside the keep, actually. Uh, now's really not a good time. <laughs> um, do you need help? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll help you for pay. Uh. We'll take care of the problem if you pay us. Uh, I, I, I'd have to find somebody above my pay grade. I'll, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is what we're here for. We're, we're a bunch of mercenaries. I like say, he says, I'm an archaeologist. Um, just trust me on this one. Though, regardless if he's going to pay us or not, we're going to help him. It just doesn't hurt to try. Well, speaking of which, I did get here. Um, so how much did Ion owe you? Ion owes me... Was that 50? No, that was the last guy. I think it was only 20. But I thought <laughs> I had it written down on his card, and apparently I don't. Um, I can't even remember. What did I am want us to come with him to get here? And now that we're here... Yeah, he, the goal was to bring you here. And now the town's being attacked. And because... Well, yeah. he tells you he'll pay you once they get inside <laughs> and settle down, provided they can. Yeah, okay. That's All right. Um, so this Republic soldier person comes by, and he's got a, uh, a higher-ranking official, and he says, uh, what can I do for you, citizens? I'm a mercenary, and I will help you take care of your problem for pay. All you need to do is give me the okay and tell me how much you're going to pay me. Hmm. If they're being attacked, they seem and to And then um, Ion... He's like, well, I'm here to look for a, a dwarven city in the thing or something. This is mercenaries, huh? I'll come in. And he steps back and he opens the, or the doors open for you and you can enter into like the, you know how like in, in Skyrim you got the thing you enter into the keep and it's like an open area before you actually get to like the actual keep. Yeah. Yeah. So it's that kind of thing, and there's some cards and stuff like that. Okay. It says we're uh, we're not doing too good here. Our our jobs is to look out for the uh, the centaurs in this area, but uh, we're being attacked from with inside. By and, centaurs. Uh, I don't have the men to you know keep on both ends. Are they centaurs? No, um, we don't know. I highly doubt it. They came through the wall underground. Interesting. Uh, where exactly are they located? I'll show you. Can you guys put your cart over there? Can we move our cart over there? Okay. Um, you go, you meet, move the cart over there. You, uh, you head into the actual keep. He's bringing you into the keep. And you get up to a barricade. And there is a bunch of soldiers with spears, basically... Pointed into this room and whatnot, and um, <coughs> essentially this is like the lower. It's supposed to be like the bunks where people sleep. Yeah. And they got a barricade, and they got all well, their spears pointed in towards the bunks where people normally sleep. Okay, so something's coming up from yes. where they normally sleep. Well, a part of the wall crumbled in, um, and then people started disappearing. Okay. Um, like I said, I've sent for reinforcements, but it could be a month or so before anybody gets here. Okay, so you guys are watching this hole in the wall. Uh, something came out of it, took some people, and now we don't know what it is, but it's in that hole somewhere, correct? Well, that's what we believe. I'm not willing to risk any more men, but... You know, if you go in there and you find something, I'll... I got 50 gold of my personal money just lying around. 
I'm sure we could scrounge up more from the folks around. Okay. Yeah, we'll help you. Um, I'll help you. Uh, what do you say, Iron? Iron, like, looks around and kind of gives you a nod. All right. Uh, what do you say, Ion? Well, there's a hole in the wall, and uh, I'm a dwarf, so, yeah. All right. Uh, I guess dwarfs like hole in the walls. Uh, what do you What do you think, I have based off of this hole and uh, your experience with uh, caves? What do you think it mm-hmm. could be? I'm gonna have him roll a history or something. Um, he thinks for a moment. He says, "Well, it could be any number of things." Hell, it might even be something coming up from the city I'm looking for. Oh, no. Yeah, that actually, wow, that didn't even dawn on me. You're looking for a hidden city underground. Here we get a hole that leads underground. Yeah, yeah. I, I was not thinking earlier, but that almost, most most likely 100% is what we're dealing with. Maybe it's a lucky coincidence. I doubt it. Um, <laughs> I, I love that. I doubt it. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, well, let's check it out. Uh, what do you say we use our, well, we'll use our perception to see if we can see anything, and if that don't work, we'll shoot fire arrow in there and see if that illuminates. All right, so you approach the actual hole in the wall, and um, it leads into, like, a dark dirt line tunnel. Um, perception checks, everybody. Wow, Arn rolled it crap. Good job, Arn. 20 crit. Okay. I see everything. Um, defi- despite the fact that Ion can see in the dark. Oh, yeah. Um, huh. He doesn't notice anything. But with just the little bit of light that is coming through at this moment, you think that you could see a shadowy figure way in the back. There it is over there. I see it in the back. Um, can I explain it to Ion to see if he knows what we're dealing with? Okay. Um, you can't so really like make seat. out what it is. It's too dark and too far back there. <clears throat> okay. Um, Aaron, he'll cast light on the tip of an arrow and pull back to shoot. Okay. And he releases. And okay. it flies down this tunnel, and it does pass a figure, uh, looks like a figure of a man, just standing in this tunnel. All right, it's going with caution. Um, yeah, let's try to be as cautious as possible. It looks like a person. All right. Um, Arn casts another light spell on a, another arrow, and the one up ahead goes out. It says, well... There we go. All right. So let's do a marching order. Who's in front? Um, well, since uh, Iron can see in the dark, we should put him in the front. Okay. Iron's in the front. He's got his And then I'll be in the ready. middle since I'm uh, more of an attacker, and then Iron should be in the back since he's an archer. All right. So it's not a terribly um, wide tunnel. We'll figure uh, we'll go anywhere from 5 to 10 feet expanding and contracting at certain points. Okay. Um, not too tall. Uh, we'll say 5 to 10 feet, expanding and contracting at certain points. And up ahead, you come across a shadowy figure. And as you get closer, it looks more and more like a person standing there. Okay. Um, should we tr- try to make contact with it, you guys? What do you think? Well... Why not? Arn doesn't say a thing. All right. Um, uh, Ion, say hello. Uh, hello there. Friend? Ask it. Yeah, ask it questions. Can you hear me? Um, it does not move, and as you approach, you realize it is a statue. We're done. 
<laughs> and don't we feel stupid? It is a stone statue of a person. It is very realistic. No, 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 no not that dumb. Um, interesting. Should we just keep following the tunnel then? Uh, what is this? Can we perceive the statue to see if we see anything that's out of the ordinary? Yes, everybody should do that. Okay. Hmm. I got 18 plus 8. 18 plus 8, uh, that is good enough to tell you this is not a carved statue. This is a person turned to stone. Oh, shit, we're dealing with a Medusa. Uh, Ion kind of, like, runs his fingers over the stone and is like, I don't know what a Medusa is, but... A basculus could do this. Okay, explain what that is to me, because I'm not aware of that. A uh, basculus is a nasty, giant, six-legged lizard that lives underground. It, uh, its gaze from its eyes can turn a man to stone. It's basically a Medusa. Same thing. Okay, well, you can <coughs> turn people back from stone with the blood of a... A basculus. We gotta kill it and try to save these people. Alright, heads up guys. I'm sure we're gonna be seeing a lot more of these as we go further. Um, just try not to. If you see this thing, you know, let everybody know. But don't look it in the eye. Yeah. Good luck with this. Ion readies this crossbow and starts moving forward. I ready my swords, and I also start moving forward cautiously. All right. Um, you walk further into the dark dungeon. It could be the darkest dungeon <laughs> ever made. Um, so eventually you start to hear a strange sound. It's like ah! a... Grinding, crunching. That must be it, guys. And you do hear a, um, or you don't hear, you uh, start to come pause rubble on the floor. Okay. And when you look at some of this rubble, you realize it's like a foot made of stone. Oh, shit. There's no saving this. <laughs> Just kidding. This guy's fucked. Um, also, I said this earlier, I'm going to say it again. Try not to look this thing in the eye. Because <laughs> right. there may be no coming back. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh, why don't stealth. you all roll stealth checks? Shit. Eight? Do I have any extra for stealth? Um, I believe so. Your I'm stealth, looking. you get a plus 12 to stealth. Oh, holy fuck. Yeah. Well, okay, so 8 plus 12. Wait. Yeah. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Everybody rolled yeah. good enough to not uh, cause a lot of noise. Crunch, crunch. And business, um, business. you come across, you slowly creep around a corner and you see this large green lizard. Um, six legs, large, uh, like, frill things on its back. And it's lying on its belly, like, con chewing on what is essentially a big stone. Oh, it eats the stones. <coughs> uh, Aaron, I need your strongest arrow in that thing now. Uh, we need to know what we're dealing with. Uh Give me one second while I turn this to the token layer. Because he hasn't seen us yet, so we could have the advantage. And resize. That's small. That's tiny. Actually, that's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Big wizard. Oh, we have I didn't realize it had a perception of 10. Um, I don't know if we should all just stay the way we are, or if we should kind of spread out. All right, 
So, I'll give you the surprise round. Yay! To the fact that Ion rolled good enough not to screw you guys over. Yes. Thank God, you fat little dwarf. Racist. <laughs> um, I guess we're politically correct in this world, too. Can't be mean to the other races. They take offense. Uh, why don't we go ahead and roll the initiatives now? So, I have seven. What the hell is this bloop bloop? Oh, I don't have any bloop a bloop. I don't know what that's from. Is oh, from... okay, I know what it is. It's you rolling dice. Oh yeah. See, you didn't turn your sound up. You like dumbass. Just well, kidding. I don't. If I'm on the page, it doesn't like make sounds. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I just came back to the page. Okay, Ion is twelve. What did you roll? Seven. Nikolai. Nikolai. Ah, oh, crap. Ion got a ten. And the great big beastie... Oh, got a three. Beastie. <laughs> I shall call him Beastie. He shall be my... He shall be my Beastie. That's not a very cute name for something as dangerous as this. Yeah, and it was a horrible thing, because when you start thinking about Beastie... Fuck! What... Uh, I accidentally clicked on a free game, but it looks like shit. And I don't want it. Mm. And now it's downloaded. Yeah, and, I, and it's stuck in there, and I can't figure out how to get rid of it. And I can't figure out how to undownload this game. God, yeah. this is the worst. <laughs> now you have to play it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, we get a free round action, so I guess everybody's just going to go before... It starts. Okay. Which I guess is good. Yeah. Um, or can <coughs> only one person go? Um, well, we should probably shoot with a really tough... Oh, no, we never hit with arrows. Do you think it would be best if I just kind of snuck up and... Sure. Try to stick do, it, do a stealth this? check. I'm going to sneak up from, kind of from behind and just stab it. Stealth check. I just did. 16 plus, you said I got like a 12. Damn, you uh, you sneak up on it, no problems. I am like the fucking knight. I am, you can't see me, you can't hear me. Alright, I'm a ninja. I am going to double stab it. So come up from behind, take both my blades and just... Alright, you get a plus one. Three? Nope. Twenty. Crit. So one blade wasn't close, but the other one got it. Okay, so roll a d8 plus two. Nine. Uh, nine plus eight is sixteen. Yep. Nine plus eight's not sixteen. Oh, I just was going with the other. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Seventeen. Go, go. Seventeen, yeah. Don't screw me. Don't try to screw me out of my hit points, Davis. Damn, that is a lot. Yeah, the fucking blade went right through its back spine. Okay, it turns around like... <laughs> Don't look at it! I look up. And now I'm waiting for one of you assholes to fire. Round uh, fires uh, an arrow. It hits. Yay! Do, do, do. Where is my D8? You're talking to the microphone, or anybody who listens is going to be mad. By the way, is anybody listening yet? Uh, no. The fuck? After Pathfinding Skyrim went away, nobody listens. Oh no. Jinj is out there to look for my Minecraft videos, still, apparently. You must not promote them enough. No, I don't do shit for promoting. I'm too lazy to do anything. Oh, okay. That's true. Um, Aaron, Aaron's gonna fire an arrow, and this thing is an animal! But yes, it is an animal. And it's within 30 feet. It's a lizard. Uh, less than 30 feet, and an animal. I get a plus 12 to hit this fucker. Holy shit. What do you mean it's an animal? Oh, because he hunts animals. Okay, I gotcha. Yes. Um, so it's totally going to hit, and I get a plus 3 to damage. Cool. 
Oh, we're gonna get you uh, close. Uh, it's a six, seven, eight, nine. It's, it's nine gonna kill damage. it. Nine? Nine damage. That's not this bad. This thing is bloodied. So that arrow wants. Nikolai, smacked. it's your turn again. I'm going to, uh, kind of gather myself and swing again at it with both of my blades. Ooh, four plus... That's a no. No! Oh, a crit again? Crit. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally... Roll a D8 like, I'm plus doing two. nothing wrong, I just keep rolling. As you can see, some numbers change, but there's another crit. So I'm at eight and, uh... Six plus two is eight. Eight plus eight is sixteen. Sixteen. This thing is looking terrible. Well, I missed with one, but I cut its tail off with the other. All right, he's gonna turn around. Right. Scary. Uh, let's see, what can this thing do? Gaze, thirty foot, forty-two DC negates. I didn't write down what Gaze does. All right. Um, he stares at you with piercing red eyes. Go oh, rather. I look. I turn around and run away. Um, it's a DC 42 save. Oh, shit. Them are the worst. Um, so what do you get? You get a plus three. Roll a D20 what? plus three. Wait, what? Roll a D20 plus three. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Um, you feel your body stiffening up, but you oh, manage to look away and shake it off. Okay. I was turning me to rock. kind of wonder what it would feel like. Um, That's terrible. I, I look back and I hear you guys. You guys shoot it. Kill it, damn it. He's going to miss terribly. Damn it. Aaron nice is going to fire another arrow. Um, 9 plus 12 will hit. Nice. And I say, good job, Arn. And that is a minimum damage. Fuck. Uh, Damn it, Arn. 4, which is enough to kill him. Holy shit. So you just, like, hit it in the side of the arm or something, but it's just, it was enough to just put it in. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like a fuck-up shot, but, like, nicked, like, an artery or something. Yeah. It just, like, spurts blood out. That was awesome. Oh, you got it. You killed it. <laughs> bet you're pretty impressed. Didn't think, I bet you didn't think that was going to happen. Well, that could have been worse. Yeah, I could have. I could actually turn into stone there when I felt it. Uh, quickly, guys, we should get as much blood as we can and try to save as many people as we can. All right, you start harvesting blood. Yes. Um. Somebody be on the lookout for how many people there actually are turned to stone, and somebody else be on the lookout for if there's anything else around here, like another one of these. All right. Um, Ion starts looking for their people. Aaron will start looking for um, things. Uh, roll me a d20. See how much blood you collect. Not bad. 18. Eighteen. Eighteen Bascalus blood. That's great. Okay. So, you're over there collecting blood. Um, I'm going to say Ion finds two more people that are full and complete and could be saved. Okay. And cool. Aaron says, oh shit, that one's bigger. <coughs> oh, fuck. Well, at least we got two people to help us right now. So, let's set up a new match. That one's bigger. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, so the guy wakes up. Well, what happened? No time to explain. Get ready or it's going to happen again. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, so, coming up the way is a, another Basilisk. This one almost twice the size. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay. Um, you want to just use the same initiatives? Yeah. We've seen it first. Since so. It totally makes sense. Yeah. So, we'll just say Aaron, or Ion gets in a good position. And he's going to fire the first arrow. Can I get close to it so I don't have to run up to it later? 
right? Yeah. Isn't that what we just did last time? I got up, stabbed at it, and then he shot. And I just used a sneak to see if I made it. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Because then he can get my back. Use a sneak to see if you make it. What is it? 12 I got for a sneak? Uh, we'll roll a sneak now. I did. I got four. Okay. Well, that beats his one. Oh, okay. Well, he's... <laughs> Can't hear anything. So yep. I stuck up behind it again. I'm like, here we go. Let's try this again. I'm going to swing both my blades at him. Hopefully cut off his tail or break his back spine. I'll call him 14 for my first one. 14 plus what? Was it 2 or 1? Uh, 14 plus 1. 15. A 15 will hit. Yes, first one's a hit. Second one's the same, 15. 15 Two will hit. hit. Two hit. It's so hard. So and then... Uh, it's my D8 plus what? 1D8 plus 2. 4 for the first one. 9 for the second one. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 total. So yeah, I cut some chunks out of it. Back legs. Alright. Um, Ion, if he would roll the correct damage dice, does a 4 damage to it. My hand does a four damage to it. All right. It's pissed. Um, Aaron gets to go. This is an animal. He gets plus 12 to hit in this fucker. Uh, 14 plus 12 will definitely hit. Nice. 26. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, seven. He gets a plus three to damage, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, he just did, Aaron just did 10 damage to this thing. Holy shit! That is a... That's awesome. ...thing. We are, we are mopping up the floor with these things down here. Um, it is now the big beastie's turn. And what about I Ion? Missed? Oh yeah, he got... He, like... he got... Uh, everything hits. Oh. Um, so this big beastie here turns towards you. Yeah. And I'm just going to say he gazes. What a lame power. Can now my defense roll? What um, is the... You get a plus three. Twelve. Okay. Um, you feel that same sensation of starting to stiffen up? Yep. Except it doesn't go away. Oh, God. He got me. Hey, guys. If you got... If you got something up your sleeves down the side, oh, you can shit. feel like it's happening. Wasn't there two other guys that we saved? Uh, well, I didn't know that you dumped blood on him yet. Oh, I thought I, I thought I did. That's why I said uh, no, no time to explain. Just okay. help us, or Crap. it's going to happen again. Well, too late. It could be um, a slow process. We'll say. Ion, uh, he's going to miss. Aaron. Crap, he rolled a 2. 2 plus 12 is 14. That's going to miss. Oh, my God. I'm just, guys, it's, it's almost to my, my mouth. Figure Ion's probably up closer. This thing is going to come over here and crunch down on Ion. Oh. Crap, and you're, like, not in the fight, and you're, like, my only PC. Oh, God, that's going to hit Ion. Oh, no. This could go real bad, real fast. Uh, woo. <coughs> uh, so much for having so much health, Ion. Um, Nikolai, do a uh, fortitude saving throw. You get a plus three. What are you talking about? Ion is not a real person. Huh? Wait, what did you say? Nikolai. Oh. No. No. You're, you're okay. still a statue. Yeah, I was like, wait, I just roll or is it the same number? Yeah, still a statue. <laughs> like everything moved, but it's still... Still, a... still, still turning. Um, 15 does hit... Oh, he's using his pickaxe. He would use his pickaxe now that he's right up with it. Yeah. Um, so that's a deep... 
10 plus 4, because he's strong. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, okay. It's okay. Things are going to go okay, right? Okie dokie. Um, can Aaron touch him? Only does 1d6. And only does 2d4. Okay, well, I guess he's just better off shooting. Shoot! Uh, wow, that's going to hit. Did it? Um, Nine. That was a he rolled a twenty nine to hit. Holy shit! Oh, and he rolled a minimum damage of two plus three. It's five, so it does something still. Damn it! But he's our only hope. And do another fortitude saving. And this thing's gonna bite Ion. And uh, Ion struggles but manages to get lost. Um, yeah, roll another fortitude saving throw. Yay! Yeah, okay. Um, you are able to move. You are very Only stiff. For a short while. You're going to take a negative two penalty or to hitting shit. Alright, so I managed to get up behind him and I'm just going to swing at him with both swords again. Okay. Uh, first one's a nine plus one or two? That's nine a miss. plus one. Miss. 17 plus whatever. I'm going to hit with the second one. Uh, so this could be a 16. You're going to hit. Cool. Okay, so that was my negative. So now... 1d8 plus 2. 7. 7. Save you all. You want to explain how you kill this thing? Yeah, it came up out of nowhere, barely moving, and I used all my strength to swing down on it, and the first blade missed, and the second one went right through its spinal cord. Brilliant. Into the ground, pinning it, and making it not be able to move. Okay, do a DC, for, or do a fortitude saving throw. Six. <laughs> you, stone guys, up, you stone up again. Yeah, I'm, that's it, guys. That's all I got. <sighs> crack and a crack and turn into a stone. <laughs> Get that blood on me. <laughs> um, anyway, you find yourself... Uh, covered in basculus blood, but otherwise fine. All right, and now by this time the other two should be turned back. Yeah, um, they're smothering the other one. If you want to cut this one open and cut up some more basculus blood, just in case. Yeah, definitely. You can do that. I roll a fuck seven. Seven. Oh, okay. Um. While you're cutting open, you find an egg. Uh oh. Can I eat this? <laughs> uh, well, for, I'm not gonna say no. For real, we could. We should take it with us. Or should we destroy it? I'm gonna ask uh, Ion because he would know. He just, he knows what these things are. Okay. Yeah, you ask Ion what? What do you say, Ion? Ion, there's an egg here. Holy shit, you got a vasculus egg. Yeah, are they tameable? Uh, well, yeah, I guess so. Uh, okay. But, no, the caveat there, you you got to be able to get them to hatch, and um, it's very difficult to get them to hatch. What exactly do you have to do? I have no idea. Well, we should take it with just in case. I just know, uh, hatching them is the problem, but they are tameable, they imprint on people, and... Um, they are extraordinarily rare and powerful pets. What happens if I'm trying to tame it and I accidentally look it in the eye? Ah, uh, well, they're not so bad when they're younger. Okay, so I can train it, and then when it gets older, I don't look at it. Okay, yeah, I'm taking this. Oh, shit. If I take this, there, there's going to be more of them on us. Mm, I don't know. We uh, We should probably look and clean up anything here. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just, yeah, okay, let's, let's clean up, see if there's any more people, we'll, okay. we'll take it with, just be on the lookout. You find one more person who is, uh, he's missing a hand, Oh. but, you know. That's your life, you happy. But so. because he was turned to stone and then turned back to normal, his, his wound is completely cauterized and, like, nothing ever happened. Sure, I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> There's no blood or anything. It's just 
a clean cut. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's terrible. <laughs> <clears throat> um, let's see. Hero finds a stick. Go on. Ready? Um, you keep searching, and you come across a stairway. All right, let's uh, see where this goes. Oh, did you know it's already 106? Are we going to keep going? Or are yeah, you gonna... we're going to keep going. Okay. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to perceive if I see anything dangerous, so I'm going to go up it. Okay, uh, perceive to see if you see anything dangerous. I perceive 7 with 12. You see nothing dangerous. It's like 20. Okay, um, go up. Ion comes up on the staircase, and he gets really excited and just starts bolting down it. We follow. Okay. Cautiously. Um, it's probably probably four minutes of like trying to keep up the ion. He's stubby. How oh, is it so hard? Um, and he like stops at like what essentially is a giant balcony. Yeah. And down below is like a huge circular city. Yeah. Um, oh, it's like, city. it's like the build, it's like carved out, sort of. Okay. So, like, the buildings are carved, and okay. there's That's still, cool. like, magical lights that are lighting everything. I always wanted to do that in Minecraft, but go, continue. Um, That's cool. Yeah, magical lights that are lighting everything, and he's like, it's actually here. Yeah. Holy uh, shit. It's a miracle. We found it. How did nobody know about this? Well, it's supposedly been buried for centuries. And what is this place exactly? Uh, it's an ancient dwarven city. There was a, I was studying some um, some of our dwarven canalways down here. They got blocked off during wars with the uh, the drow. Wow. And, uh, I, this is, uh, supposedly was abandoned centuries ago. Yeah. Very, uh, very impressive. Uh, uh, let's go check it out. Okay. Um, Aaron looks around and says, we're going to stay underground? Yeah. Or should we report back? Well, this is a pretty cool place. Um, oh, yeah, we can come back down here. Uh, Ian, we'll catch back up with you. We gotta go let the people know that we saved some people. Oh, okay. I'll be down here. Uh, well, should we leave him down here by himself? There's probably more than thing. I'll be fine. Okay, alright, let's just hurry up. And uh, that is where we're gonna end our podcast for today. That's our theme song I made. Our outro music is so much better than that. Yeah, well, it's, this okay. is better because I it came from me. I made it. Okay. So, um, we're, um, you're gonna get paid fifty gold. So what well, didn't do for the gold? I'm just a mercenary, so I gotta, you know. Um, but you did barter for it actually, so you're yeah, getting right, paid the gold. Yeah, I'm right. Forget you're something. To, you're up to two hundred sixty. Good at something you never do for free. Wasn't I supposed to get more? If I got 50 for that, wasn't I supposed to get 20 from... Uh... Oh, were you not going to split it with Aaron? Oh, yeah, okay. Here you are. <laughs> 50 total, I got you at that 50. Yeah, well, yeah. Um... Oh, he did anything, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, fine, you could take more of his. I did kill both of them, though. I just can't kill the first one. It's a joke. Um... It's a joke. Joke. So, I, kid. I, f- I forget how much fun I was going to have with this. Uh, do you really want to go investigate the city? Um, I would like to. It's, I mean, if it was real life, I would be very interested if I found a magically lit city underground when that's not something I'd normally be used to. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, I mean, but that is what my character is about, is adventure. That's why he's a mercenary. He likes to adventure and see things. Yeah, we can uh, go... Yeah, you know, check out the city. Um, I do have some encounters for inside the city. Okay. 
And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um... And, yeah, let's do it. Okay. You know, part of me... Are you still recording? Yes, I'm still recording. This is our after... I thought I did the ultra song. We're still recording because it was suggested that we do an after after thing. Oh, suggested. Yeah, remember? Who suggested it? Uh, is Zio Alexio? Um. Anyway, um, part of me was like, I don't know if I want to keep doing this. And then we actually got into playing. I'm like, yes, I want to keep doing this. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun when we do it. Oh, yeah, I really enjoy it. Yeah. And I like my character, actually. But you know what character I'm going to like the best? Which one? JJ, but not JJ. Because <laughs> JJ. I can actually <laughs> act. Because like, this guy, it's like, okay, I get it. But I can't act like silly and serious situations because this just doesn't fit his character. Yeah. But with my character having a problem with drinking but still being a hero, I can and I can still be a badass while I'm being a cocky asshole that is annoying. Um, so anyway, what I was thinking is, should we quit this game? Uh, because... I would like a satisfying conclusion, not one where I absolutely have to die, but one where you can give me a couple choices and that would inevitably lead to happiness and one that will lead to... Not happiness, but I can't decide. Like, you'll give me a route, and you'll be like, oh, do you want to do this, or do you want to do that? Mm -hmm. And not one that I can decide. Like, I can't tell which one's going to be good and which one's going to be bad, but one's going to have... Like, this is fun. I would like to continue doing this, but if you would like to start the new game, let's wrap this one up in a good way or a bad way, depending on... So one thing I always wanted to do is I wanted to get to the Fire Isles. Because the Fire Isles were something I created when I started this shit. Oh, yeah, that's I forgot. That's why we were doing it, because you had it all planned out. Oh, yeah. Um, so I feel like maybe after the Fire Isles, you would actually have some options on kind of how you wanted to yeah. play your character and whatnot. So um, maybe that would be a good thing. Maybe we will simply just skip the next mission-y thingy I had. Okay. Um because it doesn't really matter. Like, this was all planned out also, but yeah. we never, like, I dropped the idea because I didn't actually like it um, after I thought about it enough. So <coughs> it kinda, yeah. it's kind of like a one-off like this thing where you end up in this big city thing. Which I think is cool. I guess, yeah, I would like to continue with that. Yeah. You know, so I think what I'll do is we'll just level up and then we'll head to... Um, the Fire Isles, because I got a lot of stuff I wanted to do for that. Okay. And uh, that'll give you... I'll give you a nice tropical place you can retire, though I know you won't. Mm, this is basically what he was doing at that beach. Oh, the fishing's great there. Yeah. That's basically what he'll do, which he won't. So, we'll see how it works. We'll see how you like the Fire Isles and how that works out. Sans can. And um, that'll be great because that'll give me some practice with the Fire Isles before I get to it, the other guys. Oh, yeah, you guys are doing this here. Okay, cool. Are you going to have their episode up that, like, this, the one we just did right now, is their episode going to be up soon? Uh, we haven't recorded it yet. Oh, okay. I have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> <laughs>